welcome to RTB. This tutorial takes a look at the offset function and the process overlap tools. To begin, let's go to the patterns bar on the left hand side of your screen. If it isn't open, click on the arrow button and then select basic. Click on the circle three times, then close the patterns bar. Set aside two of the circles. To get a closer look, Select the remaining circle and go to the View menu and Fit to Selection. Click on your circle again to reveal the nodes. These are the four blue dots with handles. A pop-up menu will also appear showing the control icons for the nodes. Check the Hide Controls points to see the nodes more clearly. You can see that the circle is made up of four curved lines. To alter the shape, uncheck the control points so that you can drag the handles. By switching on and off the symmetrical handles icon, you can move between adjusting one handle at a time or both working together. Use the undo arrow to return to the circle. I'm now going to use the offset tool. So select the circle, go to edit and then offset. I'm choosing a 10 millimeter inward offset and then you can okay that. I'm just going to fill the circles with color by selecting the circle, then go to properties, fill, and then choose a colour. Then I'm going to align them using the going to edit, select both circles, sorry, go to edit and then center and edit and middle. So if we double click inside the inner offset circle, we can see what has happened to the nodes. As you can see, there seems to be a hundred of them, whereas if I click on the outer edge of the circle, it still has only four curves and lines. This is because the offset function creates the curved edges using a series of straight lines. If I zoom out a little, we can start to use the process overlap tools and see how this will affect our designs. So select both circles, go to edit, and then subtract. The inner circle has been removed, leaving us with a ring. But if I double click on the ring, we can see that the inner circle still has lots of nodes and the outer circle still has only four. Let's undo that and select both circles again. This time we're going to go for edit and then remove overlapped. The overlap has been cut, but we need to move it to the side of the overlapping circle. Remember to double click on the circles to see the nodes. As you can see, there are still hundreds of little nodes, which causes a problem for slower processors and internet speeds. Because of all those little nodes, they need to be separately processed by your computer. If you keep working with that circle and using offset, you'll just keep creating shapes with far too many nodes. We will undo this again. 
and one more time and see what happens with the divide process overlap tool. So select both circles again after we've undone it. So edit and divide. As you can see, the color of the outer circle has changed. Because we have divided the small red circle from the large purple circle, the, the, both of the circles have gone red. And if we double click inside the ring or the small circle, you'll see that the uh, areas that have been uh, connected to the offset have got hundreds of nodes, whereas the ones that weren't created by the offset only have the four. I'm just going to delete these circles and bring the other circles to our working area. I'm going to color those circles again to make them easier to see. So select the circle, go to properties and choose the fill color. Next, let's reduce the size of the second circle. Again, select it and go to properties. With the maintain aspect ratio checked, I'm going to change the size to 60 millimeter from 100 millimeter. Then hit return on my keypad to set the size. I want to align the small circle on top of the large circle, but I need to bring it in front, so I've right clicked on my mouse. Then select both circles and then go to edit, center, and edit middle. With both circles still selected, go to edit and the subtract icon. Click twice on the ring and you can see that we only have four nodes on the outer edge and four on the inner edge. Let's undo that again and go to edit and oh we need to select both go to edit and remove overlapped so just as we did before if we double click on the circles we can see that they only have four nodes on their edges so we'll undo one final time and use the divide process tool so select both circles, edit, and then divide. And again, if I pull it out, you can see it stayed the same. The reason I looked into this is because my computer keeps freezing a lot when I'm attempting more detailed designs. I've lost quite a lot of work and have had to start again. But I found by duplicating and aligning my shapes more, I am able to reduce the amount of nodes I create and can work online without having to save it to my PC to use on the Canvas Workspace app. I hope you enjoyed this session. Please like this page if you did and come back for my next project in which I'll be creating a cutout flower card using the guidelines I've just demonstrated. Thank you for watching and happy crafting.